Uh, I don't know, yes, well, hopefully. Um, fighting fit and ready to go, so, yeah. Have you been training fully or? Yeah, yeah, I've been training fully now. Um, yeah, just raring to get going now. Um, yeah, had a few little niggles there over the last couple of weeks, but uh, yeah, fit now and ready to go. Um, I don't think it's gone too badly. Like obviously there's a few minor issues in the small game, but like they're very easy fixes. Um, like a few little tweaks here and there to the line out and the menu and the calling, and everything like. But yeah, there's not no real issues there. But like a few minor tweaks here and there, it's grand. Thanks, uh, Justin. Yeah, absolutely, it does. And there's obviously two ways of looking at it. Like, um, obviously, like you'd be thinking maybe like, oh, I haven't got a couple of games in the belt, which I would have liked. But at the same time, my body feels unbelievably healthy. Like, so it's great. You very rarely go into a couple of matches with feeling 100% healthy, like, which is great. Um, but yeah, for me in person, that obviously first World Cup, really looking forward to it. Obviously, over the last couple of days, we've been here in tours, and you can see just um, like how excited excited everyone is around and yeah, the whole occasion and we're really just embracing that as a group and it's been brilliant. Those injuries uh, have kind of been really unfortunate to be going really we're, we're trying to warm and there seems to be another one coming along. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about kind of the rehab and kind of getting back to where you are to fight for your place again. Ah sure yeah it always seems to be the case with injuries as well like uh, it seems to be a most risk when you're coming back from another um, but yeah it's just been it's just been unfortunate, really, just unlucky. Um, but yeah, like the medics have done some job and getting us all back fit, ready to go. Like, and yeah, it's just about staying on top of it now that we're out here as well. Yeah. And are you happy with where you are form wise? Yeah, yeah. Um, like feeling good, um, as I said, healthy, which is the main thing. Like, and yeah, I've been out training on the pitch now um, for well, obviously an extended stint. Like, um, so yeah, feel good and ready to go. Yeah, cheers. Tommy. Um, after the, the weekend and the great welcome and a bit of day of rest yesterday, um, is there a sense today that it's really stepping up for, for Saturday for the big kickoff? Um, yeah, but like we've been building now for the last, well, I don't know how many days now, like, but um, since obviously everything was in mind with uh, these first couple of games in, sorry, everything we've done so far has been with these couple, first couple of games in mind in terms of our warm weather training in Portugal and our warm weather in um, Biarritz as well and um, just getting ready and acclimatised to obviously you can feel the heat outside but yeah we're all ready and ready to go at it yeah. What has the message been to you uh, specifically about Saturday? Has it been to create a sense of wanting to hit the ground running? Yeah absolutely and um, I think as well just kind of focusing on our own stuff really has been the main thing and really kind of nailing down our own individual detail on that um, but yeah we really want to as you said, uh, hit the ground running and lay down a bit of a marker. And finally, what do you know about the opposition? What are you expecting from the opposition? Um, there has been a, a narrative that it's a game you're expected to win. Not also brings the sort of you can't win situation because if you win it easily, people say, well, it's only Romania. And if you have troubles, then people say, question Ireland's form. So, uh, how are you viewing the opposition? Uh, obviously, we have loads of respect for Romania. Um, we were looking at them today as well and like really aggressive in defence and stuff like that, so we're going to have to be ready for that. Um, but yeah, like as I said, we're kind of looking at ourselves and just we judge ourselves off our own performance and our and how, I suppose, like, yeah, how we play ourselves. So that's kind of how we'll be judging it. Thanks, Ed. Yeah, hi, Perry. Um, Dan Sheehan, Sorry? I just missed that. Sorry, what? You said that the the Yeah, obviously, it's competition for places. Um, and it's obviously not just the two of us. It's obviously, Rob and Tom was in with us over the summer, and uh, Dear Baron as well. So it's loads of competition for that hooker jersey, and not just that, throughout all the positions. Like, Look at the back row. Look how competitive that is. Second row, like so, it's all throughout the team, really. But as well as in particular for us, 
yeah, I think he's spot on, like, as in, like, I know we're driving each other on, like, because uh, obviously we're provincial teammates as well. But, yeah, I think it can only be a positive thing for Irish rugby and for us too as a whole as well, like, that we're constantly driving each other on, competing, and competing for that two jersey. Well, I suppose maybe a bit, yeah, a little bit, but we know it's an 80-minute game, like you're going to have to do a job. Um, so you know like there's plenty of game time to go around, like, and it's just about making sure that you're ready no matter if you're select to start or if you select to come off the bench, finish strong. So everyone has a role to do in those 80 minutes. Thanks. Last two questions, Rory and then Dan. Yeah, after a long day off, it's tough not going in the international rugby, but after the break you had to go in there, talk the business for the weekend, how tough is it going to be? It should be alright, like, because we've had the warm weather and um, stuff. Like, obviously, it is hot out there, um, but we have our protocols around it, and we've been practicing them over the last, I suppose, well, three or four weeks that we've been in this uh, temperature, really. Um, and for me personally, I just back the work that I've done with the physios and the medical team in terms of my own individual fitness and feel fit out there. Feel like I'm ready to go. My numbers are all similar to the lads, so yeah, feel good. Next last question. Yeah, it's, well, it's unbelievable. Like I can't, I'm not gonna go through them all. Like, but they've all played their part. Like, and all chipping in vital times. Like, um, to take your rehab sessions to get you through it, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, you see, like, I suppose 33 fit players really like coming over and everyone in good health more or less and um, so yeah you don't get that unless you have a really good team behind you especially over the whatever it was 75 days or so that we've been in pre-season it's been very tough uh, like we've had a very tough pre-season to prepare us for this moment